हेलो फ्रेंड्स अर्जन कार्यक्रम सी एन सी में आपका स्वागत है आज के ट्यूटोरियल में हम एक मिरर का जो फ्रेम है वो बनाने वाले हैं तो यहाँ पे हम लोग जो फ्रेम बनाने वाले हैं इसके लिए हम लोग जो लाइब्रेरी की जो फाइल्स है उसी का यूज़ करेंगे वॉट एवर द क्लिप आर्ट वी है यूज फॉर मेकिंग दिस मिरर इट विल बी नॉट एग्जैक्ट सेम एज दिस इमेज बट इट विल बी सिमिलर टू दिस इमेज ओके लेट इज स्टार्ट Firstly, we have to trace this image. Whatever the outlines, you will see. We have to trace it. Later on, once all the tracing done, we will start sizing and then modeling. It is a, this is the rough so square that I have drawn here. Now. This inside curve I have to make. See, if you are making a curve, you can simply make this circle. Okay. Now, just draw one single vertical line. Up to a single vertical line, draw a line. Also, line to select area. Select the line and then press the middle rectangle. Go into the modeling, press this uh, center, we will use this. Okay, now you can see it comes at the center of the rectangle. Now select the circle, select press the shift and press uh, select the middle line, center line, go into the mirror tab, simply flip about the line. Okay. Now use the trim. यहाँ पे जो कैंची है उसको निकालिए सिंपली ट्रिम कर दीजिए तो यहाँ पर कर का जो आउटलाइन है वो बन चुका है अभी ये कर का जो प्रोफाइल है वो आपको बनाना है क्रॉस सेक्शन जो है वो आपको इमेजिन करके बनाना है ठीक है यहाँ पे एक रफ वैल्यू लेते हैं यहाँ पे हम लोग चालीस चालीस एम कंसिडर करते हैं विल मेक अ ऑफसेट ऑफ ट्वेंटी एम एम ऑफसेट टू दिस रेक्टेंगल ओके सो वी हैव क्रिएटेड द रेक्टेंगल सॉरी ऑफसेट ऑफ दर प्रोफाइल नाउ वी विल मेक द विल मेक द क्रॉस सेक्शन So now you can see here we have drawn this uh, cross section. Uh, okay, तो यहाँ पे हमने जो cross section draw किया है, अभी इसको जो middle line हमने किया है, उसका हम लोग extrude use करेंगे और ये selection करेंगे, ठीक है? तो यहाँ पे ये मैं cross section select करता हूँ, यहाँ पे आपको create square corners on रखना है, ठीक है? यहाँ पे आप देख सकते हैं ये हमारा हमने जो कंसीडर किया था ये लग गया पर ये उल्टा लग गया ठीक है इट इज गेटिंग ड्रॉट रिवर्स सो व्हाट वी विल डू इज नाउ विल मिरर इट विल सिंपली मिरर इट ऑन टू द लेफ्ट और आयर राइट साइड ओके now again use the extrude वापस आपको जो center पर हमने बनाया है उसको select करके आपको वापस इसको ये करना है extrude करना है यहाँ पे आप देख सकते हैं कि ये अभी perfect इसी जैसा लग रहा है ठीक है तो आगे बढ़ते हैं तो आगे हम लोग जो pillar है उसको हम लोग trace करेंगे ये पिलर की डिजाइन जो है ये ऊपर की डिजाइन तो हम लोग एग्जैक्ट वैसे नहीं ले सकते उसके जगह पे हम लोग कुछ और लेंगे और ये जो नीचे का डिजाइन है वो हम लोग जितना हम लोग बना सकते हैं एग्जैक्ट उतना हम बनाएंगे 
बाकी का जो है वगैरह उनको उसको कुछ अलग डिजाइन से आपको रिप्लेस कर सकते हैं ठीक है तो ये आप मैं इसको क्रॉस सेक्शन ड्रॉ करता हूँ सॉरी नॉट अ क्रॉस सेक्शन पिलर आउटर कवर कर ओके सी वॉट एवर द कर यू ड्रॉन ऑन द बॉटम साइड सेम कर हैज टू बी मेड टू इट्स टॉप साइड तो वॉट विल डू वी जनरेट वन सेंटर लाइन पुश इट इन टू दिन सेंटर ऑफ द कर मीन सिंपली यूज इन द मिरर फंक्शन लिप अबाउट द लाइन जस्ट फ्लिपिंग इट ऑन टू द टॉप साइड now what we have on this uh, pillar is kind of looting firstly there is a small very long simply draw that line again do the same draw no further the line select it press shift button then Use the center. It will go into the center. Now whatever they do, draw on the top. Press the shift and select the center line. Simply mirror it about the line. Okay. Now. Join. all those curves make them as a one simple curve okay here we have joined it now there is some kind of taper structure here We'll make it, or we can also add some acanthus leaf here. You can also add it, no problem. Okay. What I will do here is uh, Can adjust the curve using Note Edit mode. Okay. Now, simply do the fluting like this. You can make the same fluting size of here. There is no problem. Now, and. Little up to here. Over over rounding over here. Okay, like this. Now what it has just a square block that you can make directly like this. Okay. You can extend it up to here. To designs end. Now whatever we have generated here. हमने यहाँ पे जो कुछ भी जनरेट किया है वेक्टर का कर लाइन टू लाइन सेगमेंट जो भी बना है तो उसको आपको एक ही कर में ज्वाइन करके लेना है ठीक है अभी हम लोग शेप एडिटर में सॉरी नॉट शेप एडिटर व्हाट वी विल डू हियर इज व्हाट एवर द स्क्वायर वी आर ड्रॉन हियर we just firstly draw one uh, vertical line over here then simply select this line select the block use the center okay 
now you can see it is in the center now just draw a line from here to here just join them okay okay similarly on the top side we have to do the same see we have to extend the center line here ok now you can now you can simply extend like this now simply join it okay so now uh, remember firstly what is the thickness of this it is 10 mm okay so whatever you are making should be added with a wall height of 10 mm so now i will simply use the turning okay let us see what thickness it comes out to be then we will be adjusted now you can see here the semicircular things has been generated ok so if you start a new component simply click, click on that component you can see it height is 25.9 you can make it uh, 25 and get the best height of 10 mm ok you just simply make it now what we will do here we will add the floating on this pillar so in order to draw, draw the floating we can either show the two floating or three floatings on here uh, I think if we add a let us see what it what it will look better we will add the two or either three simply firstly I, I will layer uh, it okay now measure the thickness between these two lines just measure the thickness 38.86 now just divide it 38.86 I think we have to add the two floating over here it should look much better 38.86 divided by if we 19. We can add the footing of 15 to 12 mm. Okay. So 19. Point. the relative line about 5 mm okay similarly on the downside so minus sorry not down on the left side okay now you will see from where it starts okay you can see if it starts from here you can simply Add the guideline as a horizontal over here. Now, if you want to use the thickness of the fluting as a 
15 mm then simply draw another line that you are seeing that it is going outside to it so we have to draw a looping of around 10 mm I, th I think 10 mm is okay okay so or you can also make a can make it eight mm okay. whatever the extra guidelines you can delete them okay so now simply make a semicircle here press the alt button make sure it become tangent to that red line simply press the shift button use the flip over the layer now you can see we generated these two pieces now we will do what is join it with the straight line so here is our looping is done simply place the control and drag it okay so it is in copy okay so here is our looping is done uh, it's done now what we will do is simply go into the shape editor okay without limit you can either subtract you can either subtract or either add whichever looks better you can choose that okay. so I let it be as a subtract simply start a new component Okay. Now what we will do here is now we can add some acanthus leaf on this bottle-like uh, structure. Just go into the clipart library, drag one acanthus leaf on the right side. Now go into the modeling. I'll look at it 180 degree okay what you can do here now is just simply decrease the size okay increase the thickness you make it 11 Okay. Just position it perfectly in the uh, okay. Now I'll just simply select the spread the shift button, select it, go into this, add use this. Okay, now you can see it is perfectly uh, on the center okay so now what we do here is uh, we can make this block okay just simply measure is 10 mm simply give the offset as a 10 mm inward okay with this kind of design here We'll do it later. Now we will press this top uh, sculpting. You can simply add a guideline horizontally. Now what you can do here is simply draw the profile. Okay. So whatever you can draw, make sure it should sound better mm -hmm. 
यहाँ पे ये मैंने ब्लॉक कर लिया ठीक है यहाँ पे एक हल्का सा कर आप डाल सकते हैं यहाँ तक ऐसा एक कर आ जाएगा ठीक है उसके बाद यहाँ पे और एक कर है ठीक है यहाँ पे आप एक तो यहाँ पे एक ऐसा टेबल भी दे सकते हैं ठीक है और उसके बाद इसको ही आप ऐसा कर सकते हैं ठीक है तो ये ज़्यादा बेटर दिखेगा जो भी एक्स्ट्रा है वो डिलीट कर दो ये लाइन एक्स्ट्रा पे ये डिलीट कर दो ठीक है ना यूजर मोड रिट मोड सिंपली टूट लाइक दिस स्ट्रेचड लाइक दिस स्ट्रेचड लाइक दिस इंक्रीज द कर लिटिल बिट डाउनसाइड नाउ इट इज ओके सिंपली जॉइन इट टू द टॉप्स और ये ओके नाउ दिस मेंस पार्ट इज डन डाउन साइड जो है कैन सिंपली इमेजिन द कार एंड मेक इट यू विल गेट हियर द टाइम इन कार्ड ऑफ स्ट्रक्चर यू लाइक दिस जस्ट सिंपली मेक द कंटिन्यूटी हियर द मेन थिंग इज द ओनली कंटिन्यूटी इफ यू कैन मेक द कंटिन्यूटी परफेक्टली यू कैन मेक इट बेटर ओके Now you can see here. We have to add yes vertical line. But before that, you have to extend it a little bit like this. Okay. When you extend it, it loses its continuity. Okay. So remember, practice that. Now. What you can do here is uh, one small curve, one big curve. In a decreasing and increasing manner. Okay. Whatever here to here is a simply downward structure like this. Now there is a stuff like this. बट टू डाउन सेट सो वॉट यू कैन डू वॉट यू कैन डू हेयर सिंपली ड्रॉप अप कर लाइक दिस एंड देन यू कैन ड्रॉ अप small small curve like this okay so we cut it it's simply shift it the whole part over here okay once you do all the thing you have to join it again and again okay Now only these two parts have to be drawn. We can make it in the same way like this. Just make it like that, and then like that. So. Here it is finished. Simply select this complete part, join it. Now what you can do here is draw this cutting curve. Okay. Simply 
draw a wood the horizontal line here now just draw an arch like uh, this this now what we can do here is simply select our central line with the clip about the line simply join these two using smooth curve you can see whatever the smooth curve is just a straight line okay so don't worry it doesn't matter now what you can do simply cut it now you can see here whatever the part we want has been generated so what is the measure limit we have here is yeah. whatever the thickness we can give to your measure as a maximum here is 40 mm so whatever the part we will make here should not go beyond 40 mm okay so i will just simply copy it using the control button use the guidelines when you need it okay so we will use activate here then see join it okay now rotate it yeah 90 degree again again okay mirror it okay now what whatever the width it is you just see it 73 make the half Whatever the half of the deep width of this, that is 74, half of it. Okay, so whatever it is, we will be making it. Let's say this. Okay, so now just simply use the edge root use this first just see okay sorry sorry first choose this use the selection then choose this apply what you see here is you have to see if it is applied no it is wrongly applied so what you can do select the mirror now you can see okay now it is perfectly selected okay start up you can scale the height to uh, 30 mm okay scale to 30 mm start a new component to this 30 mm, you can give the wall base height of 10 mm. So collectively, it will be a 40 mm. Okay. Now we have to cut this part. In order to do that, यहाँ पे हमको ये जो part है, हमको cut करना है. तो इसके लिए मैं जो इसका पहले तो मैं इसको कट कर लिया हूँ, ठीक है? इसके बाद आप जो है इसको खाली यहाँ से एक लाइन मार दीजिए, ऐसे। यहाँ पे ऊपर तो कोई जरूरत नहीं है, सिंपली ये जोन जॉइन कर लीजिए, ओके? सिलेक्ट द कंपोनेंट, मेनली मॉडल पैक, स्प्लिट द कंपोनेंट Okay, and then just delete this part. Okay, so this is how we can make it. Now, similarly, you have to mirror it onto the right side, and uh, using our center line, 
simply select the same uh, component with the split component now delete it okay so now it is ready now what we can make here we will find some clip parts but before doing that we have to add some round this kind of round structure over here okay. so friends i have drawn one uh, ellipse here what i will do i will paste this ellipse on this curve okay so in order to do that we will first simply okay from center to center in order to do that simply simply join it okay now our vector is ready select the object car select the rail and then press the number of copies align the object to the curve okay simply create the copy now you can see it is being pasted along the curve okay once it is done we can again show it uh, required now what you can do if you want to add some cavity in between this two ellipse you can add it in order to do that you have to do the same procedure uh, like uh, what you can do uh, here simply draw a line okay now align this line to this line using this okay now you have got the center simply choose this and this align it okay now you have got it what you have to do here simply from the center to the center we have to make I just simply mirror it to the right side then join it okay so here we are join it since there are 42 copies now what we will do we will add uh, 41 okay, 41 okay so you can see it's perfectly added now you have to sorry select the alternate ellipse so you can generate value from it for this ellipse we will do something different i will turn so just simply select the ellipse alternate okay
just group them okay now what we can do just simply drag it like this like this this like this this is what the remaining not don't see in these corners we'll be left it okay group this separately now what you can do you can add some we will show you literally simply add now you can see this typical profile has been added okay in the same way select this before selecting this and group it easily like this check whether some different color has been selected then do the same way this time subtract it okay now you will see the design going to look much better the problem is it is going inside the material so what we will do we will uh, scale it to 8 ml let us see no not 5 ml no 3 ml ok 3 ml is it so in this way we can make this ok now we will do uh, import one model of a pillar we will use this pillars top top head we will be using in our model simply paste it okay now we will cut it from here simply select the component and split the component okay now you have got the top of this pillar you can use this top of the pillar pillar's head uh, over here okay before using it change this property into merge change its height change its height to 40 ml okay now what you can do simply select that then the for bottom pillar part now it is perfectly aligned okay now you can simply press the alt drag it like this now if you wish to change its width degrees you can do that okay you can see how it is looking in actual okay so in this way you can make the pillars head see what the problem here is in this part is coming out so what we can do we will decrease the height at the mm okay then add the base height as 10 mm now it is looking somewhat okay okay now for the middle design we will use some design from the library and use 
some clippers there are many clippers in the spot library okay you can use uh, one of the file i have seen one file for this many part let us see and import it i think the not this not this i think it is a uh, here this one okay is similar to it not the exact but it is kind of okay with this design okay we can increase its height the width up to this now what you can do you know we have to center it sorry only horizontal center see what you can do firstly shift it little bit over here okay now select the line doing this and select this one now you can see it is perfectly aligned to the center now you can using press alt you can shift it a little bit up now let us see how it is looking okay so it is matching with the design we will check its thickness we are on 11.91 so we can increase its thickness up to 20 ml and give some base height as a 10 ml much high property okay now we have to add a one base of 10 mm over over here okay as we have added before doing that this select this topmost of the components deselect this and merge merge them in one single component okay now you select it now you can see it is 30 ml now so just give one 10 ml this height okay now you can give complete 10 ml this height to this component okay now again here there is some profiling you can use this profiling from here to here some different size from here to here another one okay so let's draw the profile one more thing here we can do is select this pillar okay like this merge them in one component change the height to 40 ml okay now you can copy this component using flip over the line now you can see the symmetry okay we can add here the box is remaining only this cross section with this molding is remaining and here this round design is remaining okay let us draw the profile now now i have created the cross section profile for this uh, and also I uh, added uh, the outline straight line from here up to here and this curve and then simply I have mirrored it onto the right side and simply using the join with the moving endpoints I joined it 
and again with the close with the line okay so now i will simply create a plane of enemy with a much high property simply apply it okay now you see now design here vanished what we can do just simply select this component then select this split the component okay now delete this part okay now you can see some of the part is showing let us first disable it and we need to cut it from the board here before doing that let us make this since i have created this cross section and this line for the extrude use the selection use this curve with the merge hard property start a new company okay now simply scale it wherever it is not there is a gap you simply scale it okay it shifts from the top also okay I select this close vector and divide this. this. Now we will increase the height to 12 mm. This to 28 mm. Okay. Now you see. Now you can see there is one block left perfectly added. Now this small wording has to be added that we can also use this extrude from the modeling tools. Modeling tools may do extrude hai to use karke hum. Uh, jo molding hai wo add kar sakte hai. यहां पे जो मोल्डिंग ऐड कर दी है पर ये थोड़ा उल्टा हो गया सो वी हैव टू सेलेक्ट दिस लेफ्ट साइड प्रोफाइल एंड अगेन अप्लाई ओके नाउ नाउ इट इज लुकिंग ओके स्टार्ट द न्यू कंपोनेंट नाउ सिंपली इन द सेम वे वी हैव टू आल्सो गिव द हाइट एज अ 12 एमएम बट हियर we will keep the base height as a 12 mm or 10 mm okay you can decide that height by seeing this gap if you wish to increase it furthermore you can increase it okay i think if i keep it as a 10 mm that will be okay okay now it is matching with you okay so now whatever this small part we have drawn over here we we'll simply mirror along the line flip about the line on the other side okay now we can see how it is looking okay now we just have to make the outlines in order to add the base plane over here to completely cover it as per the image and then add a corbel over here simply mirror it on the left side and also you can also add some uh, design on the top side from the clipart library and also from the uh, this side to design also you can add from the clipart library so now i will create uh, this downside part also i will just copy it from the top side just simply press the 
select that part and then click it about the line okay see it is coming over here just simply use the alt key and just match it over here it should be matched it has to be matched with this outline see what is happening over here size is much bigger so now what we will do we will draw a uh, horizontal line from the center of this and then just like we did over here or you can simply copy the same line from the top with the control alt once it is copied you can uh, only click the alt button okay now select this line and this this time we have to select this okay now you can see it is from the center now what we can do here is uh, just select this line use the extrude click the select use selection and then just choose this uh, profile with the merge height detailing just add it okay start a new component see now it is has been added okay this for this also you can give it give some height to this component same as the top one okay give the base height as a 10 mm okay now it is perfect with with the top top size uh, top side molding okay now if see here it is not matching so you have to just match it little little stretch it okay. also uh, there is a gap from this so you can simply use this anchor points simply stretch it okay now it is perfectly uh, done now we will simply mirror this to the right side of the mirror frame okay now you can see only thing is remaining here is this block okay and in the top what is remaining this corbel over here one this round design over here the center top design over here and one left and right combination of design over that you can select from the clipad library and can apply okay so now i will make the this rectangular design block okay
so here we can use some this some of these clippers i have imported from this uh, clipper library you can use this to create that block these are some various options i am showing you here if you have some better option you can use them okay see since it is a rectangular block you can simply these two uh, triangular designs so you can simply mirror it onto the bottom side and then use it okay this part you can simply small it and then use over here okay for the same similarly you can use a you can also use this view uh, i think to use over here this design will look much better so now i will simply use it okay so i will be compressing it to the rectangular size So here I have decreased the clipper size to that of rectangular block. Once you do that, you complete it detail, then you simply select that clip part, then select this rectangular rectangle, go into this, simply click on the center. Okay, now what we will do over here we will be creating this block just go into the shape editor or create shape give the height as a 40 mm it is a trial and error basis so just look first how it is going to look it how it is looking simply apply first okay so this is how it is looking it is just to check whether to decrease the height or not okay so you can decrease a little more it is 5 mm in 5 mm is 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 now it is looking okay but we can still decrease it let us see for 30 mm no no it is going beyond that this part so i think 33 or 32 Okay, 32 is also okay, but we will go for 34. Okay, simply start a new component. Now, what we will do here is uh, select the inside or the select the firstly, just check the what is the thickness, it is 3 mm. So let us make it 5 mm or uh, 4 mm. You can make. Let us make it 5 mm. Now what we will do? Select the inside rectangle or the outside rectangle. Okay. Uh, 34 minus 5. It will be going to 29, but we will go for the 28. Okay with the merge high property simply apply it so you can see here is the block is now what we will do just start the new component whatever the component we just have created both the component just merge them with each other okay okay just simply break them okay now what you do here uh, where is that uh, flower okay over here it is so what you can do you just grab it to the top to it so it will be become an additive property and it will be applied on it okay so in this way you can create this smaller rectangle since since it is a very big model so that's why it is the uh, pixel are getting uh, segregated 
so that is not a big concern you can uh, that problem won't matter very much thing so just now you can simply mirror it to the right side okay and now you can see the blocks to the both side now we will be creating this core wheels over here one over here and another one here we will also look for the top 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 topmost design from the image we will match it from the live flipper library we will find the similar and then import it okay Mm, so this is the circle part we have just made it similarly we will be flipping it to the right side okay so now you will look for the corbel design so here you can see some models I have flip parts I am uh, imported from the library. You can use it for this top post, top part. I think we can. Uh, this will look kind of okay to it. Let us try it. Not here, it should be over here. That was the cockpit. Okay. Just select the model, then the center line, and just use this. Okay. Just combine move to merge. Now you can see it is being added. Only thing is, you have to give some wall happiness to it. If you wish to add some another, uh, here I will increase it to 21. Then the base height as a 50. Okay. Now, this will be much better. I think it should be shifted a little bit upward. This is just for an the reference. You can also use your own designs for the top. Okay. Now we will see uh, what kind of design we can import and use it for the left and right. Okay. Let us try some another design too. We can also use this one, the same dimension, with the same dimension you have to use it, 
with the same process okay for time being i will disable this model and increase the 21 so 21 and the base height is a 15 with the merge high already there in merge high so now we will see how it is looking you can see it how it is looking okay this one can also be used so there are two combination i show here you can use any one of them okay so now so there is one corbel design i have imported from the clip part and i will use it over here just simply adjust it like this select it select the press the shift button select the then center line then now it is aligned okay the main thing is i will change the dimension as 25 mm height and base height as a 10 mm so you can see it the corbel has been added and it is looking much better you can also increase its height by decreasing it to 21 and uh, increasing 15 at 19 okay so it is further increase this will also going to look better once it is done you can simply select that press the middle center line then simply flip it about that line now you can see the curve has been copied to the right side now only thing is remaining here is this design the same design to this right side then our job is done okay so let me see what i can do so i found one design over here this clip part we can use it okay so i will simply drag it like this let it be merged inside the design let us see how it will be looking just click on the center line and just center it okay now what we will do here is change the property to the merge okay now you can see it is how it is looking if you want to increase its thickness you can increase the thickness to 25 and the base height as a 10 mm so combinedly it will be 35 okay you can if you wish you can also shift it a little bit outside here but don't go beyond that i think this one is also okay okay I think this much is okay. Don't let any cavity over here. Okay. So this is also looking good. You can also use some other design if you wish to. There are some designs you can use. If you wish to decrease size, you can decrease. If it is looking small, let it be small. And let it be like this. You simply select this center line. Use the okay. Now it is looking better. Okay. So in this way, you can create this middle frame using the clip parts. This is the final design. 
is simply you read about the line okay so this is how we have done it i hope you will like this video if you like this video if you are needing such design you can contact me and uh, if you wish willing to make me video on some specific topic you can whatsapp me please share this video with all your connections with all your groups thanks for watching have a nice day goodbye